There is several ways for tracking in geometry nodes. I'm going to teach you the more accurate and more efficient way to do that in this tutorial. Let's get started. First of all, we need two objects that can be anything you like. I'm modeling an arrow for the instance object here, but you can use eyes, needles, face, or basically whatever you like. I leave this object at the center and I go to the geometry node workspace, customize it by editing areas and I added a new geometry setup to my object. I keep the group input and I add a grid node by pressing shift A and searching for it. Then I just add an instance on points node after the grid and I use the group input as the instance's input. I can change the size of the grid and increase the vertices of that to find a better look for my instances. I also scale them down from the scale input. Now I'm done with the instance setup, so I add a UV sphere to my scene to use it as my target object. Then I imported it to my node editor by dragging it from the outliner to the node editor. After that I add a vector math node and I set it to subtract. Then I subtract the location of my target object from the position field which calculates each instance's position. I use the result of the math for this rotation input. As you can see, it's not working because I need one more node that is called align Euler to vector. I just add it and I put it here. I set it to Z axis and I make sure that I'm using the vector as the input. And now if I move my target object by selecting it and hit G on my keyboard, you can see the tracking effect is working properly. I said everything about creating the effect, so let me give you some tips. The first tip is about how to make the instances, in this case arrows, to move up when the target gets near to them. It can be done by adding a set position node after the instance on points node. Then calculate the distance between the target object and the instance's position and plug this result into the offset of the set position. After that, add a combine XYZ node to determine which axis do you want the effect to be applied. It's the Z one in this case. At the end, add a map range to invert the effect and adjust its range. The second tip is about how to randomize the location of your instances. Well, you can either use a distribute on points before instancing to make some good variation using that node or of course you can add a set position node plus a random value as its offset to randomize the location in each axis but pay attention that you need to move the tracking setup after the randomization in order to make the effect work just add a rotate instance node and plug the setup into its rotation input and there we go the effect is working well and somehow if the effect is working inversely for you, just multiply the final number with negative 1 and you will be good. The final project file is absolutely on my Patreon and a shout out to all the patrons who are supporting the channel. Thanks for watching guys, wish you the best and stay tuned for the next, obviously by subscribing the channel. <laughs> Goodbye.